Hey Internet, my name is Mark. I'm a senior at NYU studying computer science and linguistics with a minor in game design and I'm working on a game called Seashell. This week's devlog is going to be all about art assets and making some block models. Really straightforward, not much work done this week. It is Friday afternoon right now. I'm just recording the intro clip. If you're new here and you want to check out other Seashell content, you can go ahead and check out some stuff up here on this corner. Might be that corner. I could be wrong yet again. Devlog 03 is the game pitch, so you can kind of know everything about Seashell's current state from there. If you want to find any specific part of the video that might interest you, you can find the timestamps on the video bar down below and in the description. Don't forget to leave a comment on what you're working on, but without further ado, let's get Get to this week's devlog. Thanks for clicking and I hope you enjoy. All right, hey guys, so it is 9.37 p.m. on Tuesday evening. I'm really, really tired. I think my game design class was really taking it out of me this week. It's just the final grind and everything. I wanted to jump into Unreal on Friday, but it, it just doesn't look like it's gonna happen, unfortunately. Next week will be prime time for that, finishing at least the entire escape unit simply because I'll have no classes. So for this week, I've sat down and I need to decide what I wanna do and to simply do it. I think the easiest thing to do would just be to make some pretty basic assets. Sit down for like an hour or an hour and a half at a time, mess around in Blender, make something I can import into Unreal, right? And perhaps sketch a little bit. I'm really bad at drawing and I'll be embarrassed to show my drawings, so I might not, but it'll be important to just show you that I have them. And perhaps working more on the narrative story of things. I think what I wanna focus on right now is building up the main house area, have it so the girl can teleport to the beach, right, this first zone, and go from there and work in the story with that. Because I wanna have something functional, something that we can use, right? March 19th is when I want prototype to be out. Obviously it's going to look bad and everything, but yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm really tired right now. That might change tomorrow morning, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule in some deep work times. And if you're ever wondering how I time block, I guess I can just show this. This is my weekly calendar. We have big purple blocks that you can see, which are my classes. Tomorrow I can definitely find time to work on things. Thursday, I'm going to make a two minute video and attempt to get it up in a day. I'm going to get it up on Wednesday, but I'm just not going to have the energy tomorrow. So I decided to put it off. Because my class right now, a lot of it's been taking place before the class itself, just because of the obligations I have for my group and stuff. I'm going to put in an hour and a half here. Blender and sketching for a seashell. We're going to say 1030 to 12. That's a long time. I might not make it. Because my goal for, it was gonna be for this week, but I'm just low energy, can't make the time for it. Was gonna be to finish the escape part of the Unreal course and then quickly use my knowledge, right? And just build basic things in Blender. I think using this week to get the easy tasks done so I can just hit the ground running, I guess, next week. So I don't have to worry about it as well next week. So I'm gonna hand over my to-do list, check that off, go over to Seashell. Current objectives. So we'll say work on assets or Seashell um, zone zero. I almost postponed the deep work scheduling thing for the third day, but two day rule. I just hit record and I said, Mark, you have to make a devlog this week. So may as well say what you're doing. So literally just hitting the record button and talking to a camera, even if this never sees the light of day has been helpful in terms of telling me what to do. Brilliant. <laughs> Next week, I'll definitely have the time to finish the escape part of the Unreal course. That's literally how I schedule my stuff, by the way. I find an open block of time and I just put in little little colorful blocks with Windows Calendar, and then I just put it into my to-do list. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So next week will definitely be escape room in Unreal, and then using the assets that I build right now, just import them in. They're gonna be bad. They won't be in depth. They'll just be little block models. It's fine. Just something to work with, right? Something to just get a feel for things, get used to Unreal, make all the bad stuff now so that as I iterate, I can improve. And if I need to start over without any, you know, fear of failure, it'll be good to refresh myself in Blender and finally get sketching. Art has been one of the things I've been delaying the most. Anyway, I'm rambling enough. Thanks for uh, existing because <laughs> would not have done this without hitting the record. I know that sounds kind of silly, but even if I don't upload this video, or even if all you want to do is record a voice note, you'll be able to look back in uh, tomorrow, a week, two weeks, a year and be like, oh, wow, I've, you know, moved a long way from this point. Measuring progress is one of the most important things we can do because it shows us how far we've come or or how far we haven't come. It just tells us where we were because we often get so used to comparing ourselves with where other people are. Some people might look at me and say, wow, he's really good at coding. Meanwhile, I'm like, dude, I'm crap. If I look at the Minecraft plugins I made four or five years ago, I've improved quite a bit. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you when I work on stuff tomorrow. All right, so I've got the inauguration up on screen. They just finished up. Gonna just keep it on the background while I do some seashell work. I finished up my my uh, two minute morning routine script and I did my homework this morning. So just blender, sketching for seashell while I watch this ceremony. The big man gives a speech. Let's jump into it. So it's 30 minutes later. I ended up watching the speech and then I tried to sort out something that was going on with my earbuds and I haven't done anything. <sighs> I'm recording because it's worked last night. Where's my sketchbook? 
I've had this idea in my head for ages about some room to use, or like the design for a room. Not the design for a room, but how the layout of the house is gonna be, so I'm gonna sketch that out, I guess. This is Carlos, by the way. He's a Squishmallow, but he's also gonna be the main character of the, the beach zone for now. I think I'm gonna procrastinate a little more by figuring out my sound profile, and then uh, get to it. Okay, so it's 12.50, ah, I did two things. I guess it's something, about a year ago, I did the draw box challenge, 250 boxes. My perspective skill has greatly improved, but I haven't drawn that much since, which is really unfortunate because drawing is one of the things I wanna get really good at, except I don't do it nearly enough. Anyway, this was my very primitive top view, and this is the idea from the original script, it's just this this main living room. Now, this is, this is okay, it works, it's functional, you can tell what's happening. Clearly, perspective issues are, have gone awry. This is the the, the shelf or the the cabinet, I guess. Not terrible hidden stairs, kind of surprised. The one thing I want out of this devlog is to look back in like a year and be like, damn, my art improved. The idea for the game is gonna be as you collect items, this this little cabinet drawer nightstand. What the frick do you call a nightstand when it's not a nightstand? A desk? No. Like what's a nightstand but not next to your bed so it doesn't classify as a nightstand? Please tell me. I, I This is what linguistics does to me. Anyway, then as you collect more items, they'll collect on the thing and so the title screen will be, the camera would be at this window, for example, and it'll see seashell and then it will have all the items on top of the thing and you'll see like the room in the background. Maybe like as you collect items, this might be a cool idea. There's like stuff that's added to the room. Maybe you finish the carnival area and there's a tin man walking across the floor. You might see Carlos run across the back once you complete the beach zone. That's my sketches for now. I think this is actually a good thing for the block model tomorrow because I can just quickly make the rectangle, raise up the carpet. I can block model pretty quickly in Blender. Been a while, but we'll try. I do want to do character sketches at some point today, but I might just jump into the Blender block model because it just seems like a really easy thing to do. And right now, it's one of those weeks where I just need to get the bare minimum done. That's all I'm going for right now. I have game design in about five or six minutes, so I'm going to just chill for <laughs> five or six minutes and then jump into it. We're really trying to focus in today. My focus was so bad yesterday. And we have a five person group, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's doable. We're getting there. It just takes a lot of energy. I'll either do some more sketches tonight, but otherwise, this is what my procrastination ends up looking like. Smaller is better than nothing, though, so keep up the good work. Don't forget to drop a comment down below what you're working on. I'll get to everyone from last week and the week before his dev vlog at the end of the video. But yeah, in a second, you'll either see me later today or tomorrow with perhaps a bit more optimism or less. Okay, so as my game design class wraps up here, throughout these last two weeks of the class, everyone's been giving their pitches, their game pitches. If you wanna see what mine is, you can check out the last devlog on one of these two corners. But this, the second pitch today, the student drew their own character designs and art, and it was really good. I'm not gonna show it for what reasons I hope to be obvious. There was something that bugged me, not about their presentation, but about me. For a long time, I have known this idea of do something as if you were that thing, as if you were in that occupation, because eventually you will then be doing it well. You know, I'm a computer science student. One of the great things about academia, this is sort of a digression, but hopefully you know why I'm saying it, is that it forces you to stick to a schedule. It forces you to do these things so that you eventually become that thing. With my coding classes, for example, I would never have written a lab for scheduling tasks or something like that, but I did. And all that code helped me become better at C. It helped me become a programmer because I just was forced to do programming. Even in this devlog, and this is very well timed, I will admit, at the start, I just said, you know, make some character concepts. Just draw as if I wanted to draw. And I'm going to use art because that's the example that this strikes me most for, but there's this saying I got from an archery instructor a long time ago, it was, tell me and I will forget, show me and I will know, let me experience and I will understand. With this whole concept of do something as this person and you will become that person, person being abstract like an artist or a programmer, not someone like Pablo Picasso. And I've, I've experienced this. I have experienced diving into something like making videos, right? I've made a bunch of videos and I'm suddenly a YouTuber. I don't, eh. So you can tell people things and they'll forget. You can show people things and they'll know and you can let people experience things and they'll understand. But what I'm realizing now is that it's different for every single field. This one thing of doing till you become. Do as if you are and you will become. Seeing this person's character design and art, I have the subscription to Character Design Quarterly Magazine I was going to reach for, but it's really far away. Anyway, I wrote down, draw as if you were an artist and you too shall be one. Not become one, but be one. Very important. And I just wanted to share this little epiphany because it's so hard to explain, I guess. There is so much more to doing something to become something than it feels like. Because for so long, I've told myself if I, you know, sit down and draw every day, start at 15 minutes, work my way up to you know, two, three, if I'm really serious, work up to nine hours a day drawing. If I do this habit every day, I'll eventually become a good artist. But the problem is belief. I don't believe I am a good artist. And therefore, if I just do this consistently, I think I'll one day get good. And you know, that's probably true, but I'll never believe I'm good. I don't think I'm good at art. I look at what I draw 
And I think, bruh. <laughs> but I need to give myself the belief that I'm good at art because then I, then I will improve. Then I will want to do it more. I sat down this morning and I thought, I'm gonna make some really bad character designs. I didn't make any character designs at all, in fact. But what if I sat down and said, I'm gonna make some character designs and I'm gonna make good ones. Then I'll evaluate. Then I'll be like, this is bad. This is why this is bad. This is making no sense. This presentation showed me that art makes direction clear. Art makes ideas concrete and art solidifies expression, not creates expression. Anyway, Anyway, this whole epiphany just really strikes well with this week's devlog theme. So it's like, how can I find the intrinsic motivation to sit down and not just draw for the game, but draw good concept art for the game? I suddenly have an understanding of why this concept art is so important to me because it gives me direction. It gives me something more tangible to work with. Will that help me? In the next few days, we'll find out. If you've never heard of this concept before, you know, if you want to become a game developer, if you want to become someone who codes Minecraft minigames, code Minecraft minigames. If you want to become someone who is a martial artist, then start learning martial arts. Start studying and practicing martial arts. If you want to become an artist, be an artist. Create a drawing habit every day. But there's another step to it that I'm only just now realizing, and that is you also have to believe you're an artist. The whole mind over matter thing is still a fight in my head for many reasons I won't go into now, but there is this step of believing that if I sit down to draw a concept art, I know it'll probably end up turning bad. I don't know the fundamentals. I've accepted that. I've accepted I'm bad. I say I wish I'm good at art, but then I say, wait, I need to actually draw before I can become good at art. But now I'm having this realization that I need to believe I am good. Or maybe I just need to look at the good parts of my art. Later tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, I will sit down and I will say, I'm going to draw concept art for my game. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, which I hope it will be, which I want it to be, I will try to make it good. I have to believe that I'm capable of making good art to actually make good art. I can pick up the lectures later, but for now, I have to get back to my game design class. Pull out about an hour and a half worth of energy to hopefully get moving on our idea. This will probably be the main body of the devlog. I hope you got something out of that. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you have ideas, let me know. Sit down and write some code. You're a programmer. Congratulations. Don't be aspiring. Just do it. See you in a minute or something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so it's Thursday evening. It's 10.35 p.m. I am so tired. Not even physically tired, just so much, man. I submitted my last game design quiz. It took a lot out of me, I think, today during class. So I didn't get character sketches done still. I didn't get anything done this morning. Chances are I won't get anything done tomorrow morning because I have some stuff I need to do for my class. And I told the friend I'd hang out there five hours ahead so the evening isn't really viable. Plus in the evening, I got to get this devlog edited. So I guess really what my choice is now is just to kind of show you guys what my process would be for these generic starting assets. So here's Blender. I don't work in Blender too often. I know my way around it pretty decently. Okay, so this is Blender, obviously. Pretty straightforward. Shift A, add a mesh. We'll go ahead and plane, scale it up a bit. Keep using tabletop simulator controls by accident. We'll go into mesh view, tab, extrude it on the Z a little bit just to give it some body. I guess how big are the steps going to be? Let's actually make the steps first. So G, Y. Um, so let's go ahead had GX here. I'll move it on the Z. Now there is a modifier I could use, the array modifier, which you know what, just for practice's sake, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Modifier, add modifier, array modifier, and one on the Z, boom. Yeah, you know, very generic stairs. Um, let's go ahead and actually just duplicate this because I like the thickness I have. Rotate X90, hit seven, go to top view, just so we can sort of bring it into the edge there. This is this is how I'm doing just the basic block modeling. This is this is it. This is the first room. Yay! <laughs> Again, I'm really tired. That took me like five minutes to whip up. But that's how I'm gonna be doing the basic assets for this. And so now I'm gonna I should spend time on my first character model. I need to sketch the characters in the first place. But you get my point. This is how I'm doing basic mo block modeling. That's what I'm gonna do for the start of the game. That all being said, next week's goal while I pull up the community tabs here is going to be jumping into the Unreal course again. So finishing the escape room game and maybe even starting up the actual seashell environment. We'll have Zaf's Relinota clip in the next devlog. So definitely stay tuned for that, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, jumping into Unreal, I'm gonna be going over code and stuff like what my experience getting into unreal for the first time is and just initially setting up a seashell project yeah so uh matt your comments is looking forward to seeing some unreal action next week sorry we didn't get to that this week i think it was a good choice on my end to not focus on that and thanks for the aesthetic on the slides i was really happy with the theme that i found and i, I think it really worked ryan I hope your first week in the semester went well, or at least I hope it's going to go well. I think some schools started this week, some started last week, mine's starting next week. It'll be an adventure, but we got this. And then Unstoppable Goal had a really solid comment about the question of the story, and I think that's 
something I'm gonna talk more about in these videos. I just need to figure out how to not mess it up. Bloons asked if it was related to Minecraft. I think in the next week's video, I might have some more stuff on Build My Thing. I have not finished it, unfortunately, and I wanted to include that in this week, but again, lots of complicated stuff. Not complicated stuff, but just a lot going on for my class. Lots of intense stuff. Tomorrow's the last day, so hopefully editing will be pretty stress free but that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this devlog. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with what you are working on, what is coming up for you, what challenges are gonna be in your way, what obstacles are the way, what are you working on? And what do you think of this stuff so far? Hopefully I'll get better at working on Sketch this week and finishing the Unreal course. Really finishing it is a bit of a stretch goal, but I'm gonna be putting in times this weekend to sit down throughout the week. Since I have four days of quote unquote freedom, I wanna just take Sunday and maybe Monday just totally off doing nothing. So thanks yet again for stopping by. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.